interview questions that can really help you in your next Salesforce interview. So let's get started. So the first question says that we have two record types on a customer object. Let's say record type one and record type two. Profile does not have access to one of the record type. Let's say record type one. In that case, will the user with that profile able to see the custom object with record type one? Now, what does this basically means is that first of all, our custom object over here is a child object. Okay, the, the name of the object itself is a child object. Now, when we click on new, it has two record types, record type one and record type two. Okay, and next thing is that I am logged in as Raju Srivastav, right? I am logged in as Raju Srivastav inside uh, Edge, and Raju Srivastav has a custom profile named as custom profile. Okay, let's go to that custom profile as well. So this is the custom profile, and if I go to the record types, <coughs> Raju Srivastav does not have access to the record type. record type num type 2 or type 1 okay if i go to this child object you can see raju shivastav user does not have access to the record type 1 now question is if i go and create a child record over here okay if i go and create a child record of record type 1 okay if i name something to it and if i click on save and first of all owd of the child object is also private okay so if i change the ownership to raju shivastav question is will raju shivastav able to see this record okay he does not have access to this record type that is record type 1 he has access to record type 2 but he does not have access to the record type 1 so the question question is will he be able to see this particular record so let's go and check it out let's open it so the answer is yes even though he did not have access to this record type he is still able to see those records okay he still he does not have access to the record type 1 still he is able to see this particular record so the answer is yes he will be able to see this record even though he does not have access to this record type via profile let's move on to the next question and the next question says that what is implicit and explicit sharing so whenever the sharing happens automatically okay automatically that's what is called as implicit sharing and explicit sharing is you do something to actually share the record Now let's understand it with an example what is implicit sharing versus explicit sharing let's consider this asset record okay now i'm going to change the asset account to salesforce in 5 minutes the sharing of the asset as if you can see right now over here asset object if we can open it up let me open yeah you can see the asset object over here it's controlled by parent and the parent over here is nothing but account so whatever whichever account you can see okay whichever tagged account you can see if you can see that particular account you can also see the asset automatically and that's what is called as implicit sharing let's understand it with a real time example right now i have this asset the account of this asset is salesforce in 5 minutes and the owner of this asset account is nothing but salesforce in five salesforce in 5 minutes user right so now as the owd is private of course raju shivasta won't be able to see this account right he won't be able to see this account so as you can see he is not able to see this account the question is will he be able to see the asset or not an answer is he won't be able to see the asset as well because as account was hidden to it implicitly automatically asset also got hidden because it was controlled by parent and that's what we call as implicit sharing right now if i change the owner again back to updated account now the owner of this particular account is raju shivasta now if i again refresh this page page i will be able to see this asset because it got implicitly shared automatically shared with this raju shivasta user as he was able to see the account he will be also able to see the related assets if he cannot see the account he cannot also see the related assets so that's what is called as implicit sharing i did not do anything it automatically got shared on the other hand if i would have checked certain check boxes if i had written some kind of sharing group that's called as explicit sharing now before moving to the next question if you still find my videos really really helpful i really request you to please subscribe to this channel So let's move on to the last question that says that how can we set up a default value for a status field based on the record type now there are two ways first of all your question should be are you talking about case object or are you talking about any custom or standard object right so basically what they want is when i click on the new button of a particular object 
based on the record type i select let's say there are three record types record type 1 2 and 3 the status field or any other field picklist field i want to show I, I want to keep a default value for it how can i do for an example for record type 1 i want to keep the status field value as new for say record type 2 i want to keep it something open or something like that okay if i want to do it how should i do it now the question stands over here is that are we talking about case object or custom or standard object or any other object irrespective of case and if you are talking about case object in that cases what you can do is in that situation what you can do is you can easily create a support process and you can uh, link that support process link that support process to record type okay if it is a case object on the other hand if it's a custom or a standard object you need to build an lwc component okay so whenever a user clicks on new button or either you need to build an aura component in which we will call the lwc component from that or you can also directly build an lwc component whatever works for you but now based on the record type a user is going to select what you can do is you can create a lwc component which will open or it will show or it will show a, a particular default value for the status field based on the record type you select so if it's a custom or standard object, then you have to write a customized code for it using LWC. On the other hand, if you are using case object, in that case is case or either thing so lead object as well, but I think so case object is one of them. So you can create a support process and link that support process to the record types. So this was all the questions that I had to discuss in this video. If you found this video helpful, I really request you to please subscribe to my channel.